Every now and again, something unusual happens, something that defies logic and belief. A single race, a single horse within that race, and an incredible amount of liability on it. It's 600 million to be precise. And around this time of year when I recorded this video, it always reminds me of that moment because it's something that seems almost impossible that could have possibly happened. And this is the story of the 600 million pound betting error. So let me imagine that you're watching a race here. Uh, the horse has jumped the last hurdle. It's miles clear of the rest of the field and it's about to cross the line as a winner. What odds do you think that that horse should be? Because if you do any in-play betting, you will know what those odds should be. And when a horse has crossed the finish line, you always see this thing of 101 to lay. And that is because everybody has taken all of the back money that's available in the market. In any particular race, there will be a little bit of uncertainty. But when you see that it's clear, and certainly when a horse has crossed the line, all of the money that's available on the backside will be swept off. Apart from that didn't happen in this particular race, but have a look at the race and tell me what you think the odds were as this horse crossed the line. He's on three to four in front, and at the last, very limited, over and clear of Murad in second, clear of Power Station and Shaker Mills, but Bowler Lavadette and Andrew Lynch out in front, racing up towards the finish, and Bowler Lavadette will win for Colin Murphy and Andrew Lynch. A fine performance from the Mayor Beats last. So let me show you what the Betfair website looked like as this horse crossed the line and the market was suspended. And when you first look and glance at this, you sort of think, well, there's nothing unusual there. You can see something at very, very short odds because it is obviously won. Until the penny drops that this was actually the horse that finished second. And if we rewind the market slightly to the stage just before the race was complete, you can see exactly why this race was so particularly weird because the horse that actually went on to win the race was available at odds of 29. Not only that, you could bet millions on it, uh, which obviously was a very unusual circumstance. So unusual that Betfair actually voided all of the in-play bets in that particular market. And this was one of the very few times that Bet Angel has actually made it onto the Channel 4 News. Now, when you place a bet on a horse to win, and it does, you get your money. Unless, that is, you backed Volley La Vedette in the big race at Leopardstown on Wednesday via the online gaming company Betfair. The website has had to cancel a £23 million payout after a technical hitch, and the punters are furious. Our technology correspondent, Benjamin Cohen, has been trying to find out just what happened. Vola Lavadet will win for Colin Murphy and Andrew Lynch. A fine performance from the It Mayor. wasn't even a photo finish, but many of the people who bet on Vola Lavadet and thought they were in the money were actually left empty handed thanks to the growing complexity of online gambling. So, what went wrong in this case? As the race started, Person A offered incredibly crazy odds of 28 to 1 that the favourite would win the race and claimed to have £600 million to back it up. Betfair's users started to immediately take him up on the offer, pulling down £800,000. When the race ended, the favourite won as expected, and Person A was in line to pay out more than £23 million. Unfortunately, he couldn't, because he only had £1,000 in his account. And Betfair's software should have detected the mistake, but it says by fluke their system went wrong at exactly the same time. That's not gone down well with its customers who are venting out online. So somebody with a thousand pound in their account managed to create a potential liability of 600 million. Fortunately for them, only 20 odd, 24 million pound or so was actually taken by the market. I think people were so shocked that they couldn't believe. Plus their account balance would have run out, unlike the person that laid the winner at odds of 29. Now, the response to this was one of sort of like complete confusion, because how was such a thing possible, especially when you learn that the person only had a thousand pound in their account? And also um, there should have been an exposure limit on that account. Um, so this was like a double failure in one sense or another. And unfortunately, in complex systems, things like this do occur. You write stuff, you try an error trap, all of these things. But there are little things that sneak through and um, that you couldn't possibly account for.
But the interesting thing about this was that, yeah, you know, the response was that Betfair obviously couldn't let those in-running bets stand, so they voided all of the in-running bets. That created a bit of a fuss. Betfair did apologise and did a bit of a press round to uh, attempt to sort of explain away exactly what happened. But they didn't actually mention specifically what the error was. And there's a clear reason for this, and that is that if you highlight an exploit to somebody, then you're going to have loads of people descend to try and replicate it. Um, so that is uh, something that you obviously wouldn't want to do. So quite rightly, Betfair didn't explain specifically what the error was, but a big guessing game started to try and understand specifically how this error could have been caused. And in fact, somebody on the forum um, came up with a very plausible solution, which was suggesting that if you put an integer uh, into the wrong data field and converted it through different formats, then you could actually end up with exactly the amount that was available um, to back uh, on the winning horse. Now, it's a bit confusing to explain um, how that is, so I will put up the forum post um, and talk through it. But basically, if you put a negative back bet into the system, converted it through several different data types and then converted it into an integer. If you don't know what an integer is, it's a, a zero, it's a positive or a negative or a zero. It can't be anything else uh, with any decimal points in it. But if you basically put it through this convertible loop, you actually ended up with the amount of money that we saw available. So it's very likely that this was potentially the issue. However, what happened a few years later was there was an anonymous uh, posting that sort of outlined and claimed to be uh, sort of have some knowledge of exactly what happened. What I'll do is I'll give you a quick overview of what they said, but it sort of, you know, it does fit in with this theory um, that it was a, a data type error of some sort, but it also clarified um, that in fact this was corrected and eventually the entire code base was rewritten to modern standards and therefore it would never happen again. But yeah, and, you know, the explanation is um, worth having a look at so that you can understand exactly what was going on. So this was one in a generation sort of weirdness to occur on the exchange. I've never seen anything like it uh, in my 25 years. And, you know, you do see oddities now and again, and they're the odd technical or human error that uh, creeps into the system now and again. But generally errors of this size never happen. So it was a very, very unusual occurrence. Typically, what you tend to see are people making mistakes or misjudgments on what they're looking at within the market. And this can produce some spectacular errors as well. But these are completely user generated. I have a brilliant one on football if you want me to talk about that. But yeah, that was the story of the £600 million betting error. However, what happened a few years later was that there was an anon. However, what happened a few years later... <laughs> However, what happened a few years later was that there was an anonymous. However, what happened a few years later was that there was an anonymous.